Okay, from the How To Surveillance homepage, what you want to do is click on Lens Calculator, and that will take you to the Lens Calculator page. Let's take a look at how to use the CCTV Lens Calculator. Uh, the first thing you want to do is select the appropriate CCD size, and you want to make sure you have the correct CCD size. The CCD cameras come in a variety of sizes. The most common one is one third inch. If you don't know the CCD size, ask your vendor that you're buying the camera from what the CCD chip size is. That's really important to get an accurate result. In this case, we're going to use an example where the camera has a one third inch CCD chip. And the anticipated target distance in this example that I'm going to be using is 15 feet so we type in 15 and this is the distance that you expect your target to be at this could be a subject or a person um, whatever you want to look at uh, that's the distance they are from the camera target area width this is also known as the field of view or the horizontal field of view this is basically the number of feet that you want covered in the width of the scene. So at a distance of 15 feet, let's say we want to cover an area that is 18 feet wide. So we type 18 here, and then we click Calculate. And it comes back and it calculates a focal length required to achieve this target area width at this distance. So in this case, we need a four millimeter lens. Now, CCD cameras come with a variety of lenses, but usually they don't have a 4 millimeter lens as a standard lens. Usually the standard size that it would be closest to that would be a 3.6 millimeter lens. So you can go ahead and use a 3.6 millimeter lens if, that's, if this is um, approximately the width that you want. Uh, you can go ahead and experiment with some of the numbers here. Let's let's experiment and make this 19 feet for the target area width. I'm sorry. 19. Click calculate. Recalculates the focal length required. Now we're down to 3.79 or around 3.8 millimeters. And let's try 18. Click calculate. Oh, I'm sorry. I went the other way. Let's try 20. Okay, 20 feet wide, 3.6 millimeters would be the lens uh, that we would require to get a 20 foot target area width at a distance of 15 feet. You could also experiment with, uh, like I said, you know, just using different um, target area widths going the other way. Let's say we, we were wanted to make it a little bit narrower if we put in 15 feet. It says we need a 4.8 millimeter lens. And keep in mind, we, as we make the target area width narrower, the magnification is going to be greater, so that's what's requiring a longer focal length. As the focal length increases, the magnification increases. And so I, I sort of think of this as optical muscle because it brings you closer into the scene and gives you more detail. But it does so at the cost of the target area width. You see this has gotten narrower. It's only 12 feet now with a 6 millimeter lens. Now if you can live with that and that's okay for your situation, then you can go with the 6 millimeter lens. It'll give you a greater magnification than the 3.6 millimeter lens. Uh, but as I said, it does so at the expense of the target width. Let's try another uh, distance. Let's try 45 feet. And how about a 30, 30 foot target area width? It says a 7.2 millimeter lens is required. You could go with a 6 millimeter lens on that. If you want to find out what a 6 millimeter lens will give you, you can, you can just plug in different numbers here until this reads six millimeters. See we're getting closer to six millimeters at 32 feet. Let's try 34 feet. 
0.35, let's try 35 feet, 35 feet, calculate, 6.17. So that's roughly a 6 millimeter lens that would be required. As you can see, you would have a target area width of 35 feet, at a distance of 45 feet. Uh, you could get this a little more accurate if you want it 35.5 feet. It's again, this is an approximation, uh, so there is a little bit of uh, play in the numbers here. But this gives you a good idea of what you can anticipate as far as your field of view with various lenses. Um, if we wanted to see what a 16 millimeter lens would do, uh, 16 millimeter lens is another one of the standard sizes. That's a more of a telephoto lens. It's a stronger lens we know that it's going to make the target area width a lot narrower so let me just put in a, a guess here I'll say 15 feet and you'll notice that says 14.4 millimeters so we're getting close I'll put in let's say 12 feet oh, we went above 16 13 feet okay we're very close to it 16 millimeter lens. Let's put in 13.5 feet, hit calculate, and that gives us a 16 millimeter lens. So with a 16 millimeter lens at a distance of 45 feet, the scene is going to be 13.5 feet wide. So you'll, you'll cover an area that's 13.5 feet wide um, at a distance of 45 feet. And again, you can always get the height of the target area if you just take this width and multiply it by 0.75. Uh, that'll give you the vertical height of the target area. This is giving you the horizontal width of the target area. Um, and that's basically due to a 4 to 3 aspect ratio.